the positive parenting view that parents should only use positive methods and never utilize negative disciplinary consequences is currently popular in parenting blogs and in books. However, Dr. Robert Larzellary, who is a professor at Oklahoma State University and has conducted research on the topic, says negative consequences should not be totally discounted. Well, all of us should be for positive parenting. Where this view goes too far is it claims that parents should be positive all the time to the extent of ever, never using negative consequences such as even things like timeout or taking away a privilege. Uh, when, when parents bring uh, difficult children, we call them defiant or oppositional children, to a clinical psychologist, the number one thing they teach them is to use timeout in response to their non-compliance, along with acting positively as much as possible when they're playing or when they're doing appropriate behavior. So, uh, so clinical psychologists in helping those parents have not found any way to help those parents manage difficult children's behavior, and I'm talking about two to eight-year-old children, by only using positive methods, although the better parents can use positive methods, everything else being equal, that's great. Dr. Lars Alleri added that negative consequences often help children learn how to communicate. The most ideal parenting model is one that combines elements of positive parenting methods and discipline. The kind of balance is important, and different children need different kinds of balance. But in research I did with uh, Dr. Diana Baumrand at University of California at Berkeley, she's famous for showing that authoritative parenting, which has a balance of love and limits, that's much more effective than either, either extreme of limits without love, which is the worst extreme, but it's also much better than love without limits, which is being propagated more today by some popular parenting so-called experts. To read more parenting tips, visit dadsdivorce.com. That'll do it for another episode of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Sean Garrison, editor of dadsdivorce.com. We'll see you next time.